माय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय 200 थ्री मॉडल्स इन फ्री कैट सीरीज टुडे आई वांट टू वर्क ऑन एक्सरसाइज 26 एक्सरसाइज 26 लुक्स लाइक समथिंग फैमिलियर फ्रॉम अमर रिसेंट पास्ट एंड आई लुक्ड बैक एंड आई सॉ वी डिड अ सिमिलर जॉब ऑन देयर सो एक्सरसाइज 18 वाज अ लिटिल बिट मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स देन 26 but it is the same base model. We don't have these holes on 26 and the mid groups are kind of like square where it was angular, kind of smooth. And so exercise 26 is less work than exercise 18. However, what I want to do is I want to modify 18 to create 26 that way we can showcase our parametric capability of FreeCAD modeling. So let's work on that one. What I want to do is I want to open up exercise 18 file. Okay, I opened it up. I am going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to delete the tech draw. I'm going to delete the image. I don't need that one anymore. What I can do is I can take this 26, bring it in here. So that one, let me go ahead and then process the image real quick. That way we can use that in our advantage. By the way, if you are first time watching these videos, I'm not explaining the image processing thing because I did that in the beginning of the series for five or six videos. So please go back and watch those videos. That way um, it will be easier to actu actually follow through the series. So we got this model there set up. We are almost there. Now what I, I want to work on the object. The object is fusion between revolve and six holes. As I mentioned earlier, six holes, we don't need those holes anymore. So let me go ahead and then delete this fusion and maybe the holes as well. We don't need the lattice or the base cylinder. So we took all of those six holes away, kind of cleaner. Now I want to work on this sketch. So the revolve will reflect of what we want to do. Let me go ahead and hide that one. So select the object, hit spacebar on your keyboard that will hide or show select this one space so that that shows it that's the sketch we want to modify to match with this one so I want to bring in the image to match with this sketch that we will be working on so there is the center it's pretty close. I'll just update it just a little bit more. There. All right, I want to update the sketch. So I think it will be easier for me to go one by one. Let me delete a few of the important things first. I want to delete this 24, all right, and make a new dimension here which would be, so this point is 24 divided by 2. So that's 12. Okay, we got that line sorted out. Let me take this three inclined line away from the view because they are not valid anymore. We, do, we will make a square out of it. We'll have to find a way to delete this dimension two. Okay, got that. So here it will be kind of square, right? When I say square, it's, I mean, it's orthogonal or 90 degree angle at this area. Okay, so this four millimeter won't be four anymore. So let me go ahead and delete that. Actually, take a look. It's two millimeters. I can make that two. And some this 36 so that's the end corner so that's half of 36 so that will be 36 over 2 okay and this 4 will be 2 as well so i'm going i'm i'm taking one at a time this is not 
this 32 won't be 32 anymore so now this will go somehow it's not moving okay it's, it will be like that let's take it down try to place it on on the image that way it will be easy on us okay this 16 will be 8 I can see that right there okay and that helped right I want to take 72 this 72 will be 36 you can see that what else let me take this one in high air we're almost there we have five degrees of freedom and one of them is this point which is four millimeters so this height will be four and this one I can see it's three right what else this is 12 not that one that this point and this point is 12 All right how many degrees of freedom we have left two okay this point is 44 over 2 millimeter away so that's 22 and finally this point is aligned with this point as I can see from from here all right that that's a fully constrained sketch we just modified our base object and we got that sketch modified as we wanted let me bring the revolu revolution back so select on that revolution hit space on the keyboard that brings back our updated revolution which actually matches our required object so that's now this revolve is our final object I wish 26 was 18 and 18 was 26 that way we could show the progression of difficulties but hey I did not draw or sequence these objects but I'm happy that we were able to take an object that we built in the previous days and updated it to fit to make our need satisfied and that's the beauty of FreeCAD or that's the beauty of parametric modeling if you have any questions please let me know in the comments I try to address them at my uh, convenience I'll see you in the next video thank you